Here we Hello, go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Rotary Club of San Francisco. I see we have 10 people on Zoom today. So nice to see everyone on Zoom. I am Christopher Wiseman. I am the president for 2022-2023. Together, we can be our best. Thank you. We are the second oldest Rotary Club in the world. There are over 30,000 Rotary Clubs. Has anyone visited all the Rotary Clubs in the world? I didn't think so. I tried to encourage all of you to visit at least one club this year. So hopefully you've had an opportunity to at least visit one Rotary Club. It's always a special treat. Zoom best practices, please mute your microphone, change the speaker view, limit chat, and turn off your camera if you're eating. And if you have a question, please raise your hand. I will do my best to answer them. In the room, best practices, please turn off or put your phone on mute. If your phone does ring, you are the lucky person who can donate $100 towards our San Francisco Rotary Foundation. And please enjoy your lunch. Today the lunch is a delicious salad, uh, chicken yakitori, and I'm not sure what the dessert is, but I'm sure it's delicious as always. Fellowship will continue after the meeting, and again, we are having some wine today. So I think some of you are getting used to the day drinking. Uh, thank you to our many club services volunteers today. On registration, we had Gary Dales. Our scribe today is Dora Dye. Our photos, Jim Patrick. Social media, Dan Davies. Our mic holder is Bill Poppin. And then our greeters were Robin, um, Anita, who else? Maureen. You're a greeter, right, Maureen? All right, well. And to everyone else who greeted today, thank you. Uh, today on our agenda, we're going to welcome guests and visiting Rotarians, have our Rotary member photo of the week. I'm going to talk a little bit about Juneteenth, and if anyone has any Juneteenth uh, to share or want to share what you're you welcome to, I'm going to share who our Rotarian of the Year is. A few reminders, some upcoming opportunities, maybe a 20 for 20 little social time, and then uh, presidential debunking with our president-elect nominee, Bob Herman. And I hear he has a few special guests as well. So thank you. So let's welcome guests and visiting Rotarians. So in the room, any uh, visiting Rotarians or guests? Just please raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you, Bill Poppin. Uh, I am visiting Rotarian from the Rotary Club of Boise, Idaho. Uh, my name is Casey Blair. For those that don't know me, I'm an actual past president of this club, I think two years ago. And I didn't make the international conference with this club, so the club, thanks to our Bob Herman, um, said, you know what, we'll get you a, bus hound, a Greyhound bus ticket down here to join in the debunking. So I appreciate that offer. I flew instead, but yeah, it's great to be here for the debunking Thank and you. good to see you, Chris. And it was round trip bus fare. Yeah, round trip. <laughs> All right, Hannah. Thank you, Dan. Dan Jornstead here. It is always a pleasure to have a member return to the club. This is Zhui Wang, which person you remember. She's in the uh, investment arena. She has a son in the inner sunset. And she was with the club for many years and she left for a while and we hope that she's coming back. Would you like to say a few words? Sure. I'm so happy to see so many familiar faces and friends here. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. And I just moved my office to Knob Hill. So I walked here for 30 minutes. Oh, my God. Wow, impressive. We'll see you again. Great. Thank you. And I think Donna brought someone as well. I didn't bring her, but she is a friend of mine. And Good. So, I'm so glad to see her. She's interested in, in joining. Uh, Barbara or Babs Lowe. Well, I always thought I had to have my own business to be a member of Rotary, and I recently found out I did not. 
You just have to be interested in the community, which I am. Okay. And it was delightful to walk in here and run into two of the Gateway residents that I know very well from our board <laughs> commitment there. So I'm uh, looking forward to joining you guys. Well, welcome, Babs. <laughs> All right, and I know we have a few visitors on Zoom. So, Eric, why don't you say a few words? You're a frequent visitor. I am. I'm a chronic guest. Hi, everyone. Eric Sly. I am Zooming in from our Christopher and my home in Santa Fe, and it's a real thrill to be here with you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Eric. All right, and Lisa Shui from Minnesota. Lisa, you're on mute. But you look great, Lisa. Good. All right. Now I'm, I'm a little rusty on my Zoom etiquette. Sorry. So um, just wanted to join your last meeting. So excited to be here and celebrate with you. Thank you, Lisa. And uh, Lisa is the Rotarian in Minnesota who helped facilitate the generous wine donation we received that we'll be selling next year. So uh, welcome, Lisa. And uh, Lisa and I did have a lot of fun together when she visited in Sacramento. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Any other visiting Rotarians or visitors in the room? All right, well, thank you, everyone. Our Rotary member photo of the week. Yes, I'm a president on Instagram. It's how I find things. So uh, happy 36th wedding anniversary, Rhonda and Bill, and for celebrating your anniversary with your Rotary family today. Aw, did you want to say a couple words? All right, they just got back from their anniversary trip in Alaska, so I'm glad you could make it back to celebrate with your Rotary family. And if any of you are on Instagram, this is public on Instagram if you'd like to see this photo as well. Okay. All right, so Juneteenth, it's our newest federal holiday. It's been a federal holiday for the last three years. So on June 19, 1865, nearly two years after President Abraham Lincoln emancipated enslaved Africans in America, Union troops arrived in Galveston Bay, Texas with news of freedom. More than 250,000 African Americans embraced freedom by executive degree in what became known as Juneteenth or Freedom Day. With the principles of self-determination, citizenship, and democracy magnifying their hopes and dreams, those Texans held fast the promise of true liberty for all. This is uh, supposed to say Smithsonian. So that's where I credited this. So if you want to read more on Juneteenth, I recommend checking out the Smithsonian website. But does anyone else want to share anything about Juneteenth? Um, how many of you who had it as a holiday yesterday? Okay. So yeah, it's a pretty significant holiday for a lot of us. Um, but I do recommend talking about it, and um, hopefully next year we'll be doing more with Juneteenth. So thank you, everyone. So our Rotarians of the Month, a few were absent yesterday, so this is just a reminder on who they are. If you're Rotarian of the Month and you see your name, such as Bill Poppin from April, you can pick up your pin on the way out today. So thank you, Bill. I got Nancy her pin, Stephanie her pin, Dora... I have a pin for you. Um, Michael Patrika, you were there for February. You're on Zoom, but I'll get you your pin, I promise. Um, and Anne, I got you your pin. So um, please pick up your pin. Also, I did Paul Harris last week. So if you didn't pick up your pin, I do have it by the door for you. Our Rotarian of the Year is Michael Patrika. So. Yay! So Michael is joining us on Zoom today. So we have a special plaque for Michael. Um, many of you know Michael. When I joined Rotary, he was one of the first people to greet me. He is a former VP of Club Services. And in the last few years, he has really helped us. Every time we've had a big need, Michael has come through for us. When we needed someone to do AV, he helped facilitate our relationship with the Academy of Art. When we need space for an event, such as our Blue Angels or our Super Bowl party or anything else we've needed, Michael has come through. He's helped facilitate sponsorships for us. He's brought new people to the club. 
and um, he's been a wonderful Rotarian, and um, I'm very happy that he is our 2022-2023 Rotarian of the Year. And uh, Michael is joining us on Zoom today. Michael, do you want to say a couple words? Well, it's just unbelievable that you did that for me. Thank you so much. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Uh, can you see me? Yes. Okay. This is my, uh, my dog, Chuck, that I want everybody to meet. Say hi to Chuck. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I retired and, and uh, uh, June 1st, and, and this is a, a, just a great honor. And I was talking to, to Mary uh, before the meeting, and, and uh, I, I can promise you one thing. Uh, we have a replacement that uh, is a friend of mine. He's Commander Paul Yep. He retired from the police department at the San Francisco Police Department uh a few uh weeks ago and he uh, will be starting at the academy uh the middle of july and uh, and i passed on his information to mary and he will be joining rotary he will be uh taking over as the uh, vice president of campus safety for the academy of art and he will i promise you he will take the the uh, campus safety department and, and and working with rotary to the next level he's really a good guy he's a friend of mine we golfed over the last several years and uh, he, you know, he has a police background and he will improve things at the, at the, at the, at the uh, uh, Academy of Art for the Campus Safety Department. And he will also do a great job for you guys and, and he will be able to, I, I, there's no doubt in my mind, he will do everything I did and, 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 and take it to the next level. But I want to tell you guys, I miss y'all. I, I miss coming to the Rotary Club and, um, and being with you guys. But uh, I was there for 17 years at the Academy of Art, and every uh, the day one I started, I always had to uh, travel to San Francisco, stay the week, and come home on weekends. And now I can uh, be home every night, be with my grandkids, be with my wife, and it's a it's a really nice new experience for me. And and but I do miss everybody in San Francisco, and I just want to tell you one thing. God bless you guys, and I, I really miss you. And I hopefully I can join the Rotary Club here in Spokane. Thank Thanks, you, Mike. Thank you for everything you've done for our club, and we'll make sure we send uh, the plaque to you. So um, thank you. So you should bring this to your first meeting in Spokane and say, you know, I'm prepared to do a lot. Maybe you'll be president <laughs> right away, just like Casey taking over the Boise Club. You'll take over the Spokane Club. I hope so. Right. Thank you. All right, well, thank you, Mike, for everything you've done for the club. I'm just going to adjust this. All right, our Paul Harris fellows. So some of you reminded me, a president does not remember everything. So I needed to do the points transfer from the Super Bowl party. So that is now all taken care of. So just so you know who you are, sorry, Dan, I forgot half your name too, or it disappeared. <laughs> you can add that to the roast too. Um, so, uh, Anne, so you're receiving one. It's gifted from Dan Jorenstad. So thank you, Anne. Uh, Scott Plakin, Alan Herzog, Jim Patrick, uh, times two Jim, uh, Robin Azevedo, Frank Yoke, Mary Lou, Rachel Donovan and Rachel's was gifted from Jeff Yee and then one for Jeff Yee as well. So all of you will be re receiving a Paul Harris uh, pin. Uh, some will be receiving a certificate since it's your first one. And hopefully these arrive in the next couple of weeks and I'll bring them uh, to the first meeting we have in July. All right, so thank you everyone. And um, thank you for everyone who donates to the Rotary Foundation. Uh, Paul Harris fellow pins. Um, just a reminder, please pick up the pins. Some I've given to you already. And if I missed you, they are waiting at the door. If you know any of these people, uh, please feel free to give them their pin as well. All right, so next week, Maureen, actually Maureen told me she wanted to speak today. So Maureen, why don't you announce the 2022-2023 gifts to the Rotary Foundation and the San Francisco Rotary Foundation. Maureen's become a frequent speaker at the club as VP of Development. Just wait until your roast. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm able to
able to give you this information courtesy of Gary Dales and especially Dan Jorenstad. The contributions to the Rotary Foundation for 22-23 are $63,929. The gifts to the San Francisco Rotary Foundation are $42,000 and total gifts total $105,929. And all I can say for everyone is thank you. This is just outstanding. Thank you, Maureen. And at Sunny's first meeting next week, you'll have an opportunity to learn about our grant partnerships for next year, which your dollars have, have helped fund either through DDF, through the Rotary Foundation, or direct gifts to the San Francisco Rotary Foundation. Um, everything's been approved, and uh, Sunny's looking forward to announcing next week. And there's some projects you're familiar with, and a lot of new projects next year for you to get involved with. Upcoming opportunities. If you're looking for a committee, it's not too late to join for this year. You can join DEI. Uh, June 26th from 5.30 to 6.30, or Miss Maureen O'Shea's committee development from 12 to 12.30 on June 28th. So, and there's many more committees for you to join um, over the next Rotary year as well. Final board meeting of the 20, sorry, wrong, of the Rotary year is on Zoom next Tuesday, the 24th, and you can email me on Zoom. Uh, um, to get the Zoom link, uh, rotarywiseman at gmail.com if you're interested in attending. And some of you have already received your information. I'll be sending out an email uh, next week. For those outgoing board members, please invite your replacement to join next week. Also, Alicia, our amazing social chair for the year, has thrown in another social for the year on June 30th. There's a summer Friday fiesta at Nopalito. Nopolito is a great restaurant in the city. Um, for those who drink, it's $25 for either a tequila or mezcal tasting. And for those who don't drink, um, it's complimentary. So you can just enjoy fellowship and delicious food with your Rotarians on Friday, June 30th. So if you want more information, Alicia is here. Alicia, do you want to say a couple words on how you found this opportunity? I basically, I really like Nopalito, so I reached out to them to see if they'd be interested, <laughs> and they are. Yeah. It's that good. It is that good. So uh, thank you, Alicia. Also, we're having our first DEI event. This is next Rotary year, but it's coming up quickly. Scott, do you want to say a couple words about it? The club DEI committee has been thinking for a long time about launching a film festival and it's finally happening um, on July 16th, Sunday from 4.30 for a couple hours at Rotary Terrace down in South San Francisco, lots of parking. Um, we'll be showing the movie Amistad, which is a Steven Spielberg movie with a great cast. And it's about an uprising on a slave ship bound from Africa to slavery in the United States with a focus on the court case that happened. Were the people who rose up murderers or victims? Were they to be punished as US citizens? No way, but were they citizens of another country where they'd been kidnapped from? Come see the movie and find out how the Supreme Court decided. I actually saw the movie, Scott. It's a great movie, but uh, very powerful. Um, so thank you for organizing and hope to see all of you on July 16th. So a next Rotary Year preview, uh, Sunny Singh was unable to join us today, so I'm sharing this on his behalf. On July 4th, there's no meeting in honor of Independence Day, so please enjoy time with your family and friends. July 11th is the first meeting of the year with President Sunny Singh. Um, I will be there, and I hope all of you are there to support and welcome President Sonny Singh. Um, he'll be sharing uh, some of his ideas for next calendar year, as well as some of our grant projects for next year, as well as introducing your 2023-2024 board. On July 18th, there'll be a luncheon meeting, and then on July 21st, another club social. 
So that's a little preview for next year. So I'm stepping back as president. I'm still going to be at most of these things, but I'm just going to be relaxing. Sonny's going to be leading. All right, so we have a couple of minutes for uh, 20 for 20. Any 20 for 20s in the room? Lisa? After a very long haul, my son graduated from law school in May, so he's officially a Juris Doctor, and he is currently studying for the bar, so we still barely get to talk to him. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Um, I didn't give Bob a warning that I wanted to be a part of the program today, but I'm just going to jump up anyways. But. Uh, <laughs> As, <laughs> as a past president, um, just so you know, it's always good to have experience in the reserve. So for uh, Chris, while he's in the bullpen, staying warm, make sure that you're prepared for things that I've held on to, hoping I'd come back into power someday, but never happened. I don't know what happened. So I found a gavel. We've moved like twice in the last year. So there's a gavel I found and somehow the keys to the vault. I don't know where these came from, David, but boy, they're valuable. So hold on to those. Great. I keep you in the reserve in the bullpen ready to go so thank you and it's great to see everybody here and uh i look forward to the debunking all right hundred dollars thank you very much all right and uh these are not going to my home maybe the hat will casey i'll frame this but the rest of the stuff will be in the cart so if anyone has questions that's where it will be all right other 20 for 20s hi nancy here the june rotarian of the month thank you nancy congratulations uh, i i do want to do two uh shout outs one to you to christopher oh. uh, one amazing year um that you have uh, served us as president um thank you so much for everything i am looking forward to not sharing you anymore to be honest <laughs> with you. Um, and i do want to do a shout out to eric um eric has been so supportive of you and of rotary so i just wanted to give a shout out to to eric as well Thank you, Nancy. I want to uh, announce that we hung a major banner this morning in front of our store, 20 feet by 30 feet. And it says, we love you, San Francisco. Thanks for the first uh, thanks for our first 150 years. Wow. Congratulations, Jim. Uh, other 20 for 20s. I'm going to do uh, $40. Uh, the first 20 is for Christopher's presidency. The second 20 is be kind to me as I do this roast today. Because it's my first time talking to the club. Rough stuff. This is a rough audience. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Other 20 for 20s in the room. All right, a couple more. All right, Tom Bruner. Yes, Tom Bruner, uh, President and CEO of Glaucoma Research Foundation. And I'd like to give $100 in honor of Christopher for a wonderful year. And uh, want to welcome you back to Glaucoma Research Foundation. <laughs> You act like I took a year off. <laughs> Angelina Preza, I do also want to give $100 to Aww. Christopher. You've been an amazing, amazing president and leader, and I just want to acknowledge that. So thank you just for everything that you've done. And I know you're not going to really leave us, so. <laughs> Thanks. And then another 20 for 20, my grandson, who's 13 years old, just got, um, how do I say this? He was chosen one out of five people in Marin. He's only 13 years old. He's going to go to Denmark for an international soccer tournament. First time away in July. So I just want to say, you know, I'm just so proud of him. Thank you. Thank you, Angelina. And Frank Yoke. Um, I have three, actually. Um, $20 for Maureen for the great job development did. Aww. And uh, she's also recruited me her, for her committee. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, um, and, and, and $30 for Ann. She did amazing work on one of the grants that got approved. 
and the remainder for Christopher for having a great year. Thanks, Frank. Uh, other 20 for 20s. I'm just going to add to a 20 for 20. Christopher, you have been a phenomenal president, and having been in your shoes, I know how tough it is. And congratulations, and there will be no problem for you sitting at the back of the room and being able to enjoy your lunch. Thank you. I'm going to learn how to eat more slowly. Um, other 20 for 20s. Twenty for Christopher. You've Aww. been so charming, helpful, entertaining, calm, cool, collected, <laughs> under fire, and that roast better be charming, also. <laughs> um, Carrie's on standby in case I need um, support. Thank you, Carrie. Yes, thank you, Carrie. <laughs> I'd like to donate a hundred dollars to the Rotary Foundation, one dollar in honor of Chris of your uh, great job as president this year. Thank you for the dollar. And and the other ninety nine dollars that I'm so proud of both of my granddaughters, Aww. one of whom has been granted an internship with the Federal Reserve in St. Louis this year, and the second who's been accepted to UCLA. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Matt Matson here. I just, uh, it's been a busy week or busy month for my daughter specifically. She turned 18. She graduated valedictorian. She's down on the border right now helping the Salvation Army serve uh, families and children that, uh, you know, there's a crisis there. 18 years old, she's down there. Please keep her in prayer. And then at the end of summer, she heads off to Asbury on a full ride scholarship to study music and theology. So proud dad. Wonderful. While I'm walking to see David dies, Bill Poppin, I want to do uh, 36 times two for a 36 year anniversary Aww. for both of us. So that'd be 72. And also give you this flag from the Anchorage Rotary Club. I was able to visit the Anchorage Rotary, Cl Rotary Club this time last week when we were in uh, Alaska. So thank you, Bill. All right, yeah. David Dye. David Dye, your assistant governor for another year. Um, this was my first. And, um, you know, I appreciate all the accolades uh, that Christopher got uh, and are well deserved. But um, there was some beside a lot of behind the scenes work that nobody ever saw, um, uh, visually anyway, because um, she could never make it to a meeting because she worked. So I want to acknowledge Dora Aww. for all of the Dora. <laughs> All the <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah. I mean, you just you just can't imagine how many details you know that make you know that make the wheels of rotary turn that nobody ever sees. But uh, Dora is the one who's cranking. Uh, turning the crank on those. Yeah. Thank you, Dora, for everything. Uh, any other 20 for 20s in the room? Um, all right, any on Zoom? I'd like to do a 20 for 20, Mrs. Right, Mary. Mary. I'd like to um, donate 60 to celebrate my upcoming 60th birthday on July 3rd. And also, I'd like to do 40 for your fantastic year, Christopher. You did an amazing job as president. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. I learned a lot from Mary working with her uh, last year. So, Mary, it's still a pleasure working with you. We're going to keep having fun together. Absolutely. All right. Any other 20 for 20s? All right. Uh, I'm going to do some social time. I'm going to enjoy my salad and chicken in the next seven minutes, Bob. <laughs> And um, some social time will be, I came up with a couple topics. I'm excited for, or share any Juneteenth activities you participated in. So enjoy some social time. Uh, for those in the room, continue enjoying lunch. And uh, Bob is going to be getting ready for his, uh, his show. So thank you.
Hey, Sunny, are you online? No. All right, I've got to head into my car and start driving. So I'm going to let you guys here on Zoom um, continue the conversation, OK? So maybe Michael or Eric, not Eric. Michael or Eric? Yeah, Eric, continue the conversation. OK, have a good one, Mary. OK, take care, Mary. Thank you. Don't I'm be shy, you guys. Hi, this is Eric. I'm actually stepping away for about five minutes.
Well, I think, folks, uh, it's, it's that witching time. It's that witching hour where we want to begin our roast. So I want to make sure, Casey, can you hear me back there? And Alan, can you hear me back there? Okay. Okay. So welcome to the roast and debunking for President Christopher Wiseman. Uh, you know, it's a story tradition here in our club that the president-elect nominee gets to work on the uh, current president's roast and party. And as you know, we had the tea party just about two weeks ago. And it's an opportunity for us to either make kind or cutting remarks about the president. What will it be today? Hang on to your hats for some laughter, some celebration, and good-natured fun. And please do take photos. Clap, cry, laugh, but do, do keep energized. You know, when they asked me about doing this roast, I was a little perplexed because, you know, I, I've never done a roast before. But then I took a step back and I said, you know what, I have done a roast before. And I, I could ask my sous chef, Dan Jorenstead, to come out. And Christopher, can you stand up? We heard you once said a roast that you heard in the house roast with special So this is a roasted chicken that I know that I understand that Eric and Christopher like roasted chicken, so they have dinner tonight. But unfortunately, Eric is in New Mexico, so Christopher will have to uh, enjoy that roast uh, by himself, or maybe have some friends over, Christopher, because that's a large roast there. And, and the au jus is very good. You gotta put that au jus on there. But then I really thought about it and I said, you know what, a, a, a roast is, is more than just a meal. You know, it, it's about the achievements of the president and, and their characteristics and how they've grown and transformed over the year. And uh, it's really fun to, to watch Christopher as he's blossomed. But let's go back in time a little bit. Let's just go back in time a little bit. And let's look at Christopher in a different way. So here you have Christopher from a little baby all the way to adult. And look at these photos. And look at this cute little cowlick that Christopher had as a four or five year old. I'm sure we all have a baby picture we, we want to hide. But, but I wanted to just say this, the mystery of how those various hairstyles have been answered. It's been answered for our club because we really wanted to know all the transformation of, of, of Christopher. And, and, and should he be a redhead? Or maybe, maybe he should be dark hair, black hair. So President JT Forbes helped me with these uh, color palettes. And uh, he could not be here today because he knew that Casey was going to be coming. So he said, you know, there, there's just too much, you know, Casey in the, in the club. But Christopher wanted me to just, uh, you know, uh, JT wanted me to say congratulations to Christopher from Hawaii, where, where he's at with his family. But on a serious note, because I think it's important for us to be serious, Christopher's had many, many, many accomplishments in his life. And some of that the club knows and some of that the club doesn't know. And what I wanted to do is just share some of those accomplishments with you all about Christopher. First off the bat, look at this lovely picture of Christopher and his mom. And this was some, a slide that Christopher showed a, a number of months ago from the Glaucoma Research Foundation. Notice never mix gin and wine, you can't do that. But, but Christopher has been involved with the being on the board, I shouldn't say be involved, being on the board of both the San Francisco Opera Guild and the Merrill Opera Program. 
And of course, Christopher has that rich background from the University of San Francisco. Anybody USF graduates here? All right, Anita, so you know. So very exciting about, about this. And I think that, you know, seeing his history here is just really, really fascinating. So what I wanted to say is over the last few weeks, I think some of you know I had hip surgery and the love and support of this club was absolutely magnificent. Um, we are a rotary family and we're family in many different words. But I had the opportunity to speak to a number of you, probably about 20 people in the club and, and friends and family about Christopher. And I think the biggest thing, and this is fine to, to, to move, um, I think the thing that we learn is that there's many different words. I asked people to give me a word or two. Sometimes people gave me more. Uh, but, but at the end of the day, I asked people to, to, to give me a word that they would use to describe Christopher. And I found a song that really encapsulates Christopher. And consider if your word, which the slide will come up shortly, made this list. I actually love Nancy Graydon's word, uh, words that she gave to me. She said, you know, Christopher would always say, I'm going to make your dreams come true. And truthfully, if you think about it, when he first took our, over as president, he has. He's really transformed this club the last year. So that's a big promise. It indicates the strength and the heart of how Christopher thinks. And I don't know if you know this fact, but he's also said at points, someday I'm gonna be Rotary International President. Now, whether or not that's, that's a pipe dream or whether or not that's a real dream remains to be seen, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him do it because that's the kind of energy and, and positivity that he has. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn this slide. And by the way, these little emojis are free and you can get them on PowerPoint. And this looks like Christopher, by the way. I, ho I hope you can see the resemblance as a blonde, as a blonde. So I'm going to ask folks in just a second to uh, say something. And you'll know, you'll know what that is. Let me just hit escape and then put the music on. It might seem crazy, but Start to say some words. Short meeting. Problem solver. Dedicated. Organized. Learner. Positive. Collaborative. Lots of fun. Enthusiastic. Genuine from our from our folks at the Nico. Anthony. Results oriented. Is that not Christopher? And there may be more words than are on this list. Yes, clap, because I think it's fun. It's fun to hear that. And, uh, but there are a lot of things that, that people want to know about Christopher. And who better than to say something than somebody that's near and dear to his heart? But before I get started, it's important to acknowledge the significant other in your lives, who often, like Dora with David, is the unsung supporter of the organization. They are there for your supporting rock, they are there for your sounding board, and they're there for unconditional love. We are Rotary Club number two. It's an intense club. We do a lot. We do more than many, many, many small clubs that I have visited. And it's through you, all the people that make this club what it is. But it's also the leadership. So what I wanted to do is give Eric a chance to come off of Zoom, say something nice about Christopher. They've been together since 2007, married for nine years. And I know Eric would like to say something. So Eric, please, if we can have you join us. Bob, I'm at a loss for words. Well done with the roast. <laughs> Incredible. 
I'm intrigued about what may be next. So I'll keep my remarks quite, quite brief. Uh, Nancy and Tom, I'm welcoming hearing more about uh, Glaucoma Research Foundation through Zooms in our home over the next uh, over the next year or so. This has been such a meaningful year for Christopher in strengthening friendships and directing energy into uh, community service. He has told me so many times that there is such a real sense of community with Rotary, not only with his club, but the district and uh, other clubs that he's visited. So I, I can tell you right now that everyone who is present means uh, quite a bit to, uh, to Christopher. And for me, Christopher embodies the essence of Rotary's four-way test, truth, fair, goodwill, and beneficial. Christopher would be the first to say, however, that this year's success is not so much about him as it is about the members being engaged and passionate about Rotary. He tells me that. So that is something that, um, that I think everyone understands about Christopher. And Bob, I know we're going to speed along. So in, in, um, in summary and concluding, I'm going to give you uh, three highlights uh, that come to mind for, from his year. Uh, first is the fashion show. Second is the Santa Cruz Centennial Celebration, where he was the guest speaker and did a fantastic job talking about um, some of the origins of uh, San Francisco Rotary and also Santa Cruz and the Tea Party last Saturday at your and uh, Dan's home. Oh, and maybe the fourth one is the Great Sacramento Wine Heist that was referenced uh, <laughs> earlier in the meeting. That, that may be the fourth highlight out of, out of so many. Happy to be here with everyone. Um, just, just thrilled that... Uh, you all have been able to experience Christopher, and and I know everyone is uh, is is very uh, appreciative for what he's done. And again, it's uh, it's a team effort with everyone who's been involved. It's not just about Christopher. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Eric. Don't you think Eric would make Tarian guys? And don't we have a discount for 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 a couple membership? I think I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We want to see you. All right, so I'm going to just close close this. Perfect. All right, great. Thank you. Perfect. So now we're going to go on to the next slide. Perfect. So you may wonder why we have teddy bears here. But before I go into the why, let me just give you a little poem. This poem is from Nana's Corner. Uh, it's on the web. It's called Poems About Teddy Bears. Author is unknown, and it's just an excerpt of a short poem. If you like, I can give you a big bear hug. As soon as a bear hug comes your way, find a good friend and give it away. Rumor has it that there may be a bear or two or a dozen in Christopher's home. And I want to be clear, we're not talking about Eric. And I want to also be clear, I did not find this fact out from Eric either, so there's somebody else that told me. But on a serious note, which some of you may or may not know, Christopher also is a very extreme runner. And his training is great because that took him on to be fit for this job, to be the Rotary Club of San Francisco's president. Because sometimes he'd be dashing from one gathering to the next. And how many of us who were presidents and will be president one day know how you bounce from one meeting to the next? But let's face it, folks, hurrying from one rotary event back to another rotary event, back to another volunteer opportunity, you need to be nimble. And but Christopher would always have fun. I'd like to ask Alicia Marfascia if she would join me at the podium. Alicia, for those of you that do not know, is our Director of Social Activities for the club. Some might call Alicia the queen of fun. 
And I would like Alicia, if she would, uh, to speak into the mic. And let's just hold on to this here. And please. Is this on? OK, great. Uh, so I would like to share a little bit about my story with Christopher, uh, which really started in January of 2022. And it was after a Rotary luncheon, just like this one. Um, and he came up to me after the meeting and, you know, in his very Christopher-esque way, he goes, hi, Alicia. I was like, hi, Christopher. <laughs> and he's like, so I'm not sure if you've heard, but Stacy Poole is going to be retiring from her position as club social chair. I was like, no, I hadn't heard, but, um, you know, that's great for her. And uh, what are your plans next? And he said, you know, I've been thinking about that. Um, I've been thinking about who would be a good fit, who would throw some good parties, and I thought maybe you would be a good fit. Not sure what that says about me, <laughs> but uh, I said, oh, great, you know, appreciate the compliment. And then in his very casual Christopher way, he goes, just talk to Stacy, just see how you feel. Um, and I said, okay, sure, uh, because, you know, I'm pretty sure he knew who he was dealing with, and uh, I was hesitant at the time. I was trying to figure out what my commitment to Rotary would look like, how I would balance that with professional, personal commitments. Um, and so I talked to Stacy. I thought about it. And as you know, the rest is history. Um, but it was really in that interaction and a few subsequent interactions throughout the year that I figured out what my favorite things about Christopher are. Um, and the first of those, many of them were mentioned on that slide, but the first is really his eternal optimism. He just has this faith that everything's going to work out, things are going to be great, this positive energy. And for me, that felt really grounding and calming. Um, I would say the second thing, Christopher, is really your, um, the importance you give to community and outreach and really building a community. I always felt like you valued my work, and I think that impact, and not just for club socials, but socials in general, has really been seen. And then finally, my favorite thing, is the boundless energy that you have. Um, if I had to maintain the kind of schedule that you've been maintaining for the last year, I'm pretty sure I'd be curled up in a ball in the corner <laughs> over there. Um, so, and I'm not sure if you remember this, but I remember this. Christopher did say that once he was done with his presidency, he was going to help me with club social. So I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you for that. But most of all, thank you for your leadership. You've been a wonderful president. You put it back down. And thank you, Alicia, for doing a terrific, terrific job. Uh, what you see here, which Alicia didn't really mention, but I'll just mention and highlight a couple of these slides. So that's the bocce ball for those of that of you who played bocce ball last year. And that's the Friendsgiving that Alicia organized. And uh, there's a Warriors game there with Sonny and Dan Davies. And then, of course, you know, the social that we did with the, the Super Bowl party and helping working with Jim on that, you know, all good stuff. But let me get back to the impact of being a president. And I'm going to go to the next slide. And we're going to just talk about the impact on the club. And it's great to have President Casey Blair, former President Casey Blair, here today because he wanted me to highlight some of Christopher's workmanship on launching the 50-50 campaign, which some of you may or may not know. Christopher's great success in that launch, he raised money for the San Francisco Rotary Foundation and the Rotary Foundation, TRF. Innovative, easy, and fun to run. This has been an outstanding contribution to our club. In this hallmark style of working with others, Christopher formed and, and forged an excellent partnership with the San Francisco Rotary Foundation to help execute this plan. And who, who can dispute that? Because look at how successful year after year our workmanship has been done. And that's Christopher in the left-hand corner when he became the Vice President of Development at that time under uh, former President J.T. Forbes and uh, as Casey was passing the baton. So this three-year bump since that time in gifts to the Rotary Foundation, you heard from Maureen today, continually year after year has raised over $100,000 for this club. 
Now this helps our club do a lot of the projects that we all love and enjoy. And we'll, we'll see some of our projects, but we're also gonna see challenging the process. And you know, we often hear about this, this thing called challenge the process from Barry Posner. We've had Barry speak to the club. Christopher is one that pushes the envelope, trying new and innovative things, supporting those projects that we sometimes don't think, you know, it's gonna fly and all of a sudden you, you do something you never did before and you, you make it successful. So here you see some projects, and you'll see a project in the corner, which is going to be near and dear to me for the next year, which is helping Mission High School youth who are going to go into emergency services careers as high school students and getting credit as high school students and having adult mentorship. It's just like RILA. You know, RILA youth, they're our future leaders. And so I'm just gonna zoom forward. And I have a question to ask Christopher. Christopher, I know it's gonna be tough, but are you ready to get off your pedestal? <laughs> so this is Emergency Services Day. It's a signature project of the club. But what people don't know about Christopher's management style, and Alicia alluded to it just a minute ago. In addition to all the fun and the charm, is his, is his empowerment to be the best we can be. Not him, but us. Because it's really about each of us. And you'll see together we can be the best in that corner. And you've seen it on Christopher's slides, and sometimes people gloss over it. But let me just tell you about my personal example that Matt Matson and I experienced this year with Emergency Services Day. When he gave us the ability to pivot and use a different venue that we've never used before, which was the Academy of Art Car Museum. We never did that. And it was a little challenging and it was risk taking, but he never questioned it. And he supported that. And I think that's important. So we wanna support projects that we've not done before, right? And so it all came together. We made the project successful and we actually were under budget. And I, I really owe a lot of that to Christopher, so cheers. <laughs> so, you know, Christopher has a full-time job, <laughs> although some might not say it. You heard from Tom and Nancy, they're ready to have him back to work, you know, he's not, you know, I don't know where he's been. But these are just some photos from uh, the Glaucoma Research Foundation where Christopher, believe it or not, what people don't know is every year Christopher and Nancy and Tom always have extended the invitations to our club to be attendees, participate in that. And if you think about the mission of the Glaucoma Research Foundation and the clinical research that they do in helping people overcome and hopefully one day find that cure for glaucoma, really, you think about our health tenant with the six areas or seventh areas of focus with our club. And, and Rotary International and healthcare and well being is one of them. So you can see Christopher here having a good time. And there's that blonde color again. I don't know. <laughs> Be careful, he, he may wind up taking it off later for you. Oh, that's all good, it's all good. But what I wanted to, to do is just come to uh, some slides of our club projects, because the core of what we do is not necessarily our lunch meetings here. Yeah, our lunch meetings are great for socializing and having a speaker up here to hear about what's happening in our world. But really where the rubber hits the road is really serving. Rotary is about service. 
And so here you'll see another project in the corner. President Mary, former President Mary Lou, brought this up to our attention to work for comfort bags with the Chinatown Rotary Club. And Christopher participated in that. And then Christopher's signature project, the bike build. And you'll see Bill popping up there and Rhonda. And wh who's that guy on that bike there? Oh, that's Sonny. He's a big kid on a, on a bike there. That's our future president, by the way. Um, and you'll see, you know, Lisa and, and, and Rotary Meadow. But there's more. These are just a sample. And you notice, you see the little runner there? That's Christopher. He's running from one event to the next, right? And here you'll see the ARC Thanksgiving. Last year, we were able to re-engage and do the ARC Thanksgiving on site, which for many years we weren't able to do. We had to do the meals on Monday. And here you see President, you see Jim right there, Mary's husband, you see Margaret in the background. And you'll see Chinatown Rotary Partnership again. And you see the food bank, which Maureen O'Shea brought back to this club a few years ago. And it's just grown in leaps and leaps and bounds. So again, you, you get a chance to see this, but there's more. Remember I said Christopher would push the envelope and try things we haven't done, which brings me to the next slide. If I could ask Maureen O'Shea and Margaret Miley to please join me at this stage. And Mary Fermi, okay. Mary's one of our newer members, so Mary, come on down. And so I, I want to come up here and just just briefly just just you, no I want you to stand right here because they're gonna they're gonna help you, help you do this in a sec. Putting on the glitz, our first ever fashion show for the Rotary Club of San Francisco. Who can forget that first fun fashion show, finally executed by Miss Maureen O'Shea, and her cadre of fashionistas, which is really all of you, the club members and Robert Hunter, and we had a fabulous MC. You see him there, right in the middle. There's President Christopher and Maureen. Oh, and that little look-alike of Christopher in the middle there. We, had, we were graced by having Miss California, Miss Nepal, and Margaret, and everyone just looked great. And here are even more photos of, of the event and the diversity of our club in having many, many, many different participants. And what, what a fun event. But before I turn it over to the ladies to do the next part of our show, I had some information come from Los Angeles Five, which made it into our slide deck. So I just wanna say that Christopher is known for certain pose. And you know what? She's totally right. This comes from President Melinda Monterosa. And she said, you know, that Christopher, he's got that certain pose. And if you see here, and, and I have slides that I didn't put in here where I have Christopher with his hands up and stuff. And uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, and Melinda said to me, he does like to sidle up to celebrities too. So, uh, you know, there was a celebrity down in uh, Los Angeles that was speaking that Christopher I know, you did, you did. But anyway, so I'm going to freeze on this slide. I'm going to turn it over to Maureen, and, and you're going to use the mic right there. And I will stay here on the side. I will help you with moral support and, and, and assistance. Make sure it's on. Let's make sure it's on. And hold it close to you. Look at this fashion plate. <laughs> Goodness gracious. But I'm going to turn him over for a few minutes to the ladies to help him change his attire to something more suitable. I think you all fondly remember Christopher as our fabulous fashion commentator at putting on the glitz. However, this is a gentleman of many talents, and today he will fulfill the role of the wonderful runway fashion model. <laughs> now, many of you know, some of you may not know, that unisex fashion is now the rage in both Madrid and Paris. 
So Christopher is bringing this to us. He is one of the few models who could really carry off this difficult assignment. Ladies, may I please have the first article? Marta. No, it is the... <laughs> Those two are fine, but may I have the lovely scarf? <laughs> we didn't rehearse this, so please bear with us. No, that's the wrong article. We need the stole. <laughs> Again, we didn't rehearse this, but we will get better as we go along. So for I told her she has five show. minutes. <laughs> Mary, can you hold this over? I'd love okay. to. There you go. There you go. Here we have a wonderful, glitzy, wonderful scarf that will be perfect. Why don't you walk over here? That will be perfect Hello. for Christopher as he struts down the Embarcadero, strut Christopher. <laughs> will definitely keep him warm. Now Christopher, come, Christopher, come back. Now do this. <laughs> yeah. Progressing into the afternoon, and Christopher will be going to a Giants baseball game. And can we please have this scarf back again? <laughs> he might need that scarf. The, the yeah, stadium's so cold. <laughs> We're going to make it uh, put it over his shoulders, yeah, Margaret, like and we flip it like this, and he has warmth. And then we pair it with this lovely. Baseball cap. Now, would you please step forward and twirl so we can see how it fits? Isn't this absolutely wonderful? The necklace. Come back, Christopher. We have to accessorize, right, now, Maureen? As I said, this is absolutely for both men and women. This may be a little bit more pleasing to the feminine side but here we have a wrap <laughs> and may i have the bag please if you can find it there you go and here we go christopher and here he is all ready to attend the holiday spoon ballet opening <laughs> Christopher, come back. He just loves this, as you can see. Now we next will go on to our next article of unisex clothing. Can we please have our sweater coat handed to him by Margaret? Hopefully this will fit. If not, we will make do. Half of it fits. Now, isn't that lovely? A little, the beret is right there, the gold, oh, in your one, hand. This one, this one. I'm sorry, I was looking for the other thing. Okay. Here we have Christopher French style. in a very lovely beret. <laughs> and isn't this perfect for a stroll down North Beach? And as he goes to the Cafe Trieste, he will be ready to mix and mingle with all of the artistes. <laughs> Wonderful, Christopher. Do some of more of your moves. Now, as the afternoon progresses, he will be walking into Union Square. And look at this wonderful derby hat. Reminds all, you of Monopoly. All set to go to Neiman Marcus on a shopping spree. And he might also have lunch at his favorite restaurant, the Rotenda. You see. OK, where is the And this is definitely unisex. This fall fox collar Both. is just perfect for any event. <laughs> Won't you ladies, you may want to borrow that from your very special gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Rhonda has taken the scarf. <laughs> my goodness, no wonder Christopher is so popular and in demand. He gives away the merchandise. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> All right, we are leaving the glitz and glitter behind, and we were looking to the future. Another creation of Christopher's is our next fashion show, 
which will be holiday glamour. And who better? I, I, said, I I'm having fun. Oh, As I said, I apologize. We didn't have time to rehearse. <laughs> now here is a lovely fall first start. And wouldn't this take double takes and double looks? He may even be discovered <laughs> as he walks down Hollywood Boulevard. Please don't give away that scarf, Christopher. <laughs> Here he comes. Melinda may want it, Christopher, in now, LA5. Look at what we have for the ladies. We merely go down like this. And here is Christopher, ready for lunch or dinner at his holiday or his Hollywood favorite <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> All right, so we are you. almost at the end of this wonderful fashion show. But we want to take you back <laughs> to the time when Hollywood was totally glamorous, to the 1920s and the 1930s, when we all looked forward to watching the Oscars. I think you're going to have to trust my voice and help him into his costume. Where is that? It's over here. Right there. Okay. And I would now like to introduce my assistant, <laughs> Margaret Miley, who is also a very renowned and in demand. And this <laughs> coat was borrowed by Robert Beadle, a member of our club. Robert couldn't be here today, but he wanted to lend his fur. And that is a real fur. And Christopher, I could just have you stay here for one second. So the very last thing I want to do, because it's, it, is, it is just the right thing to do for the club, is for us to take a little moment and to provide Christopher with some parting gifts from our club. So this little bag, Christopher, is for you. And in this bag, we have a few items. Our first item is a cute and cuddly teddy bear. Because let's face it, you can never have a too, many, too many little teddy bears, right? The second item, which is in the bag, is we know how hard a president works and we want to give a little luxuriation to Christopher, uh, which is a wonderful spa day at the Claremont. So that's in here and you would have gotten an email certificate today. I had a time for today, so it's in his mailbox. And that will be a wonderful spa day at the Claremont across in Berkeley. If anyone has never been there, it's a wonderful spot to visit with a little card. And the last gift is a gift card for travel books. You know, we didn't have enough money in the budget, Christopher, to give you a trip. But, <laughs> but, but we could give you uh, a book about travel because we understand you love travel, European travel, and uh, may you and Eric enjoy that. It has been a pleasure for me to participate in, and lead this roast today. And uh, I look forward to working with the club a year from now when I become a president. And I look forward to this man's support, uh, as I do w with all of your support. Congratulations. Thank you. So I turn it back to Christopher for one last thing. Wow, uh, thank you, Bob, and thank you, everyone, for your contributions. Um, I had a very hard time holding back tears. So if any of you are ever in this position, it is very hard not to cry. Um, but 
Today was beautiful. Um, it was wonderful looking back on the year, and it reminds me of all the time we spent together, whether it was serving or doing social projects. And I may be the president, but it was all of your contributions that made this the year it has been. So thank you, everyone, and uh, thank you for being a part of this journey. It's a year I will always remember as one of the best years of my life. So thank you. And um, thank you, Bob, for all the work you've done. And in your honor, Bob, 20 children will be inoculated against polio. So thank you for your time and getting this together. And um, you know, I want to do something a little different today. Um, I pushed the envelope and I just thought of this idea. Could all the past presidents of the club come up to join me? Thank you. All the past presidents, please come join me. Um, there's a lot of leadership in this club, and I've learned from so many of our past leaders and past projects. And even though my year was unique and I added my uh, Christopher Flair to it, all of you have had an impact on this year, and I'm happy to have been a part of it and carried on the legacy of the club. So my theme's been, together we can be our best, and I still see that. Um, and as one president, uh, past president Eric told me, he came up with um, ringing of the bell. Um, and he used to say, it's, if it's Tuesday, it's rotary. So it's Tuesday, let's say it together. It's Tuesday, it's rotary. All right, everyone, have a great week and I'll see you in July at Sunny Sings First Meeting.